Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Pam. I just finished reading a story called I Can Help. A lot of times after I read a story, it makes me feel like writing. And so I started a journal already today and I want to show you it now. So I drew a picture of how I like to help. Now these days I've been inside a lot and I really miss getting outside into a garden. So when I was thinking about where I can help, I thought about how I can help in the garden. And in the garden there's lots of plants and plants need this to live. Can you tell me what that is that plants need to live? That's right, plants need water to live. So this is me here, and I've got a garden hose, and I'm just giving some water to the plants. Can you think of something else plants need? Thinking to myself that I better also add the sun. That's right, plants need the sun. They need some light anyways to grow, and most of our light comes from the sun. All right, now I've got some words over here that are going to help me when I'm writing today. And these are all words that we've practiced before. Now this first word starts with an I, like insects are interesting, eh, eh, eh. And then we have an N that makes the N sound. So let's put those two sounds together. That sound is in. Do you know that word? That word is in. Now here we have an I, but when it stands all alone and it's the big I, we just say, I. We have TH here. Remember when we see TH together, it means that our teeth are going to touch our, to touch our teeth like this. You make the sound that comes out when you put your tongue to your teeth. Th, th, th. That's right. And so do that again looking at this word. Th, th, the. That word is the. Do you know this word here? An. Can you put that together? That word is k an. Can. All right. So I'm going to be using these words today and a couple more when I do my writing. Okay. So let me just get out something to write with. I think I'd like to write with a red marker today. All right. And looking at my picture and I'm remembering the name of the story. It was called I Can't Help. So I'm going to write about a place uh, that I can help in today. So I'm going to write I can help in the garden. So I'm going to start at the top on this side of my paper over here and I'm going to move this way because that's the way we move when we're writing English. And I'm going to write I just like over here. Then I'm going to put a space between this word and my next word. I can help. All right, I can. Can you help me find can over here? Hmm, where is the word can? There it is. K. And so I'm going to write that word next. Not right here. I want to give it a space. Okay, so I wrote I and I'm going to move over. Can. C. And then A. Mm, a. A, I'm going to start out just like I did that C. Okay, so go down and around, back up, and then straight down. Okay, and then N, you're going to start at the top, go down, come back up, come back down. All right, so I have I, can, and then I want to write help. I'm kind of starting to run out of room here. I'm thinking that I wrote a little bit too big. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to try and squeeze help in over here then. Okay, so I don't have the word help over here. So that means I'm just going to have to sound it out and do the best I can. Help. Help. Like hats on heads. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Eh, eh, e. Go out and around. Help. Puh. This P might just run right into my son, but that's okay. Help. So now I have I can help. Now I'm going to write in the garden. All right, so I'm going to start over here now. In English, we start this way, we move across the paper, and then when we run out of space, we're going to come back over here. So I'm looking for in, I, I, in. Tell me when to stop. Right there, that's right. I, n. All right, in. I, n. In the. The. Let's write that next. But remember, I'm going to put a space, so I'm going to move over. T, H, start at the top. Down and back up again. 
And then E, remember, we go out and around. So I'm going to go out and around. Now, let's go back and read it from the beginning. That's what always helps me. I can help in the, do you remember what comes next? Garden. That's right. G -g garden. I'm going to make a G now. I'm going to write it down here so you can see the G. I'm going to go down and around, back up, down, and give it a hook. Just like that, okay? It's a lot like an A, but we go all the way down and give it a hook. So I'm going to write that here. Down and around, back, give it a hook, okay? Garden. G R. When you hear R, it's A R. So I'm going to write that A next. A R looks a lot like this. Down and then give it a little rainbow. Okay, like rainbow starts with R. Looks like I've got a little rainbow arch there. Garden. D, 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 E, N. All right, and I'm going to put a period at the end of my sentence, or as some of us call it, a full stop. All right, can you help me read what we wrote one more time? I can help in the garden. Where can you help? Maybe you like to help in the garden too. If that's true, you can make a journal entry today and it might look a lot like mine. Or maybe you want to help somewhere else. Okay, when you're done with this, if you're one of my students, would you please make sure your mom takes a picture, or even better, a video of you reading what you wrote, upload it to the LMS system so I can see what you're doing at home. Bye for now.